we've got some great racing at Rose Hill on Saturday, but undeniably the feature is the $10 million Golden Eagle. We'll take a, a slight trip back in me down memory lane because there has only been a few editions of it, but this was 2021. How good was I Am Thunderstruck? Yeah, it was exceptional. So there's a bit of a proven recipe now, isn't it? So the last two winners have come through the two rack, and two winners before that have only had four runnings were both Epsoms. You don't so need to win the two rack either. No, no, group one handicap form. Yeah, well, the two rack form again. Do you think the visitor from the west might be able to do it? I'm not prepared to find out the price. No. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Equal favourite at this stage. We might check in with Tommy Berry. I know that you don't mind the chances of this horse. He's got Kovalika and he does have his work cut out from the draw. Tommy Berry, Kovalika in the Golden Eagle. Coming out of 16, always a challenge. Yeah, no, it was disappointing to see. Uh, you know, the connections I had to deal with a few bad barriers for him this preparation. So, um, not sure what we're going to do from the alley yet. I'll have a talk to Chris about that. But, um, yeah, it, it makes it tough from out there. But I'm... I still think I'm on the best horse and can't be any happier with the way he's going. So going into the race, we're on a fit horse that's in, in really good form. All right, so Tommy Berry there, and thanks to him for making time for us. Hawaii 5-0 is now the $4 favourite. So there you go. They were 4 dollars each of two. Amelia's Jewel at $4.20. Legato at $8. And Oban Buramai there at $10, $11 or more the rest. How did you see it? If he wins, Kovalika, fair to say that Tommy Berry might be getting the nod for right of the week. Yeah, it's going to be tough, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I reckon in a couple of years we'll look back and say he was easily the best horse in the race, mm. but that doesn't mean he wins. No. And that's been the case with his whole prep. No. So hopefully. But you're getting $11 to find out. Hence you're why getting $11 to find out. Hence why I have got him on top. Yeah. So I had a bit of a short list, six or seven genuine winning hopes, and he was one of the biggest prices. So... There you go, there's the play. $100 divvied up. Kovalika gets the bulk of it, $75. And I cannot let Osipanko go around at double figure odds without having something on him. So $25, Chris Waller. I can't watch that Group 1, the Guineas down south. I can't watch the replay and not back this horse, Legato. If you happen to get a chance, watch a replay from last preparation where it was the grand final, they were terribly held up, and she was too good for them. I know that a few of the horses that were in that race will go around a big price in this, and a few of them have fallen by the wayside since. But I reckon she's top draw. This has always been the plan. We do discount the New Zealand form sometimes, but when you have a look at it, Imperatory is good enough to come over dominating. Prowess, good enough to come over, dominating. Legato, same will be said. So again, at $7, $8. I think you'll shop. get a better price too. Yeah, you reckon I'll see double figures? I do. I hope so. Well, don't fix that, everybody.